O.J. Simpson. Fact or fiction? Cut, cut, on the fence, cut not to a fan. Cut, 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 cut. Cut, cut, on the fence, cut not to a fan. Cut, 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 cut. A suspicious cut on his left hand. The O.J. Simpson case, one of the strongest pieces of evidence. O.J. had a cut on his finger that... <laughs> Remember that! What about O.J.'s cut finger? Simpson flew to Chicago the same night as the murders. Police noticed a cut on the middle finger of his left hand when he returned to Los Angeles for questioning the next morning. Defense lawyers stated that O.J., after hearing of Nicole's death, had broken a glass in his Chicago hotel room and cut his finger. Detective Tom Lang was one of the two lead police investigators on the Simpson case. Well, it come to find out that he goes down to the desk and he made a big stink about, I want a bandage, I cut my hand. This led to us actually sending the Chicago Police Department to his hotel room in a big hurry. And they went in and they actually found glass in the sink that appeared to be some blood on the glass. Or had he cut himself at the crime scene? So when did O.J. cut his finger? Would you describe his demeanor to the jury? He just, I mean, he just was like smooth, just, you know, hey, just walking through like, I'm O.J. Did he, <laughs> did he appear to be rushed in any way? No. Did he appear to be distracted in any way? No. Did he appear to be preoccupied in any way? No. Now, during the period that you saw O.J. Simpson, uh, did you observe his hands? Yes. Did you see any cuts on his hands? No. See any band-aids on his hands? No. See any bruises on his face? No. Did he appear to be sweating? No. Did anything at all appear to be out of the ordinary to you when you saw Mr. Simpson? No. Was he cordial? Yes, very. And as you observed, Mr. Simpson, did you have occasion to uh, look at his hands? Yeah, I noticed how big his hands were. And uh, did you see um, any cuts or bruises on his hands? No. You saw him, and can you describe for us, if you remember, how he uh, wrote that autograph, how, what, what hand he wrote it with, and whether he used both hands or not? I'm, I think he held it with his left hand and signed with his right. All right. How close were you in, to him when he was signing it? Just to the side of him. And you were very close? Yes. Then just you could reach out and touch him? Yes. And at that time, as you saw him sign this O.J. Simpson piece to you, uh, did you have occasion to notice his demeanor at that time and how he appeared? Pretty calm. And relaxed. All right. You mentioned that uh, Mr. Simpson's hands appeared large to you. Yes, they did. And when did you notice that his hands appeared large to you? Well, when he was holding this thing, I was like, just like devoured it. <laughs> what, what devoured it? His hand? His hand, yeah. It's just. And if, at that point, you were standing right next to him? Yes. Cut, 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 cut. Uh, Mr. Bingham, sir, what is your occupation? I am a photographer. And are you a world-renowned photographer? The world's greatest. Uh, <laughs> <and> <laughs> you, just so we're, we're clear about that, have you recently published a 30-year journey of Howard Bingham, your own personal book? And photo yes, I did. I'm Muhammad Ali. And are you, do you have acquaintance with a man by the name of Muhammad Ali? Yes, I do. How, what about that acquaintance? How long have you known him? I've been known uh, Ali ever since 1962. Uh, I've been all over the world with him, and some say he's my best friend. I talk to him all the time, every day. Just left him the night before last, had to come here. Uh, sir, are you acquainted with the gentleman over here, Mr. O.J. Simpson? Yes, I am. And uh, about how long have you known Mr. Simpson? I have been seeing and knowing him ever since about 1968 when he was with, uh, uh, when he was at SC. And so you uh, came to know him there. Did you ever take pictures at that time? Yes, uh, that's how I met him. Uh, I uh, am a photographer and uh, I was at, at the games and in the locker rooms and just taking pictures 
at the uh, at the games here and there. All right. And as such, uh, would you say that he's he's an acquaintance of yours, somebody you've known over the years? Yes, sir. All right. Now, after you got on this flight, as you described for us, 11:30, um, 11:35, 11:40, uh, did you have occasion to see someone else come on that flight? Yes, I did. After that, and who was that person? It was Mr. O.J. Simpson. And uh, when you saw Mr. O.J. Simpson, did you have any contact with him shortly thereafter? Yes, I did. All right, and where was he in, in regards to where you were seated in the plane? He was, uh, uh, he, had, uh, 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 he had just entered uh, the airplane and uh, I saw him get on and so uh, I had got up out of my seat and walked up just to say hello to him. All right, so you walked up from the row 21 up to the first class area, is that correct? Yes. All right, now there's an area on this diagram, can you see it from there? that uh, shows the first class area just generally, generally in the front part of the plane. This is the area in which you went? Yes. All right. And when you walked up there, did you have a case and have a conversation with Mr. O.J. Simpson? I did. What would you say to him, if anything? I uh, walked up there and uh, I tapped him on the shoulder. Uh, he uh, looked around at me and said, hey, Bingham, how you doing? All right. Did you have any further conversation at all? Yes, I did. Uh, I was asking him, uh, where was he going? And so he asked me, uh, where was I going? So I, 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 I'd like to mention that I was going to Chicago. All right. How long did your conversation last with Mr. A Simpson? minute or so. Uh, after that, the uh, hostess had uh, asked me to uh, go back to my seat because uh, we was about to leave. The plane was about to take off? Yes, the plane was about to take off. So now during this uh, conversation that you had with Mr. Simpson, did you have occasion to uh, to look at him, look at his demeanor, how he yes. appeared? Can you describe for this uh, court and jury how Mr. Simpson appeared to you at that time? How did he seem? He had seemed uh, like the old O.J. that I always see here and there. Uh, I see him all over East Coast, New York, uh, Florida, all over all the time with Ali, sometimes and sometimes on my own because I'm all over did he, did football he games. Did he, and, seem, did he seem relaxed to you? He did. While you were talking to him, did you have occasion to look at his hands at all? Uh, I remember uh, when I had I walked up there, he was sitting in the, in the middle of the seats there, uh, uh, putting money or something in his pocket or something. All right, he had some money in his pocket? Yeah, uh, uh, which he had in his hands or something. Right. Let me see if I, I don't understand. know if I uh, go from one hand to another. But. He had, had money in his hands. No, right. yeah, some kind of things. So. All right, things you're going to put in his pocket? Yeah, some things. And did you observe that? Yes, I did. And when you, when you saw that, could you see his hands? Let's say, first of all, could you see his left hand? I saw uh, his, uh, uh, I saw his, uh, his, I saw his left and right hand. All right. And did you notice anything unusual about either his left or right hand? I did not notice anything unusual. Did you see any cuts uh, on either his left or right hand? Not, I don't think so, no. Did you see any, any blood on either his right, left or right hand? I did not. Did you see any blood on any of his clothing at that time? I did not. Mr. Bingham, if uh, Mr. Simpson was acting that night, he'd been acting that same way since 1968, is that right? He was the same to me. You know, uh, whenever I see him, he knows me because of Ali, so hey, Bingham, ask me about Ali. So. All right. Cut, 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 cut. When Mr. Simpson first entered, can you describe, and as he was interacting with the other passengers, can you describe for the jury his mood, how he appeared to you? Uh, he was very pleasant, smiling. I noticed his clothing was uh, very well pressed, um, looked very sharp. Um, in fact, I was looking particularly um, just because of his celebrity on, from his Hertz commercials um, and the fact that he was so late on, on board, I was looking to see if he was sweating. Um, and he looked absolutely normal. Um, his, his, flight, his clo clothing was um, very well pressed and um, he sat down and um, looked over actually a couple times at the beginning and then later on the flight and smiled and, and seemed very approachable. All right. You mentioned his clothes were neatly pressed. Do you have a recollection? Can you, uh, the best you can now, uh, describe for this uh, jury uh, how he was dressed and your best recollection? Sure. 
Um, he was wearing, to my recollection, a um, button-down um, shirt with uh, long sleeves uh, with a T-shirt underneath. Uh, he had some kind of cotton uh, pants on, uh, you know, either khaki or light blue or something. Um, he was wearing uh, leather loafers uh, with leather um, mesh on the front portion of the of the shoe. Uh, he wasn't wearing any socks that evening. Um, and, yeah, hair was trimmed. I mean, he... Did you, for a period of time after you were airborne, have occasion to observe Mr. Simpson uh, additionally? Yes. Mr. Valerie, as you uh, watched Mr. Simpson from this vantage point, did you have occasion to, um, to look at his face? I sure did. Did you see any bruises or cuts or abrasions on his face at that point? Uh, none whatsoever. Did you have occasion, uh, from this vantage point you described for us, to look um, at Mr. Simpson's hands? I, sh I did. And um, what, if anything, did you see uh, with regard to his hands? Uh, I viewed Mr. Simpson's hands specifically um, looking for a championship ring, uh, given his fame as a professional football player. Um, that was the motivation for my looking at his hands. Um, I didn't see anything unusual, no band-aids, no large abrasions or, or anything um, to that effect. You see any cuts at all? I didn't see any. You see any blood on his hands? No blood. And did, by the way, you said you were looking for a championship ring. Is that like Super Bowl, a Super Bowl ring? Yes. Some of that nature. And did you see one at that time? Uh, no, I did not. Cut, 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 cut. What is your occupation? I'm an airline pilot. And what rank do you hold? Captain. How long have you been a captain? Three and a half years. Did you fly on the evening of June 12, 1994? Yes, sir, I did. Where did you fly from and to? Los Angeles to Chicago, Chicago to Albany. And what time did you depart Los Angeles that night? 2345. Do you remember the flight number? 668. Did you at some point learn that one of the passengers on your aircraft was Mr. O.J. Simpson? Yes, sir. And without saying what was said, can you tell me who brought that information to you? The first flight attendant okay. indicated that uh, Mr. Simpson had come aboard. Did you have occasion to speak to Mr. Simpson during the course of the flight you've just described? Yes, sir, I did. Where was he sitting? Uh, in the second row on the right-hand side of the aircraft next to the window. And how did you greet him? I excused myself because I had just moved from the restroom area to around a, a little bulkhead there and asked if it wouldn't be an imposition to talk to him for a moment. Okay. When you first encountered Mr. Simpson, he was sitting by the window. Was he awake or asleep? He was awake. What, if anything, did you observe that he was doing? Just looking out the window. If anything, I would characterize it as being pensive. Okay. Just lost in thought. And did you uh, introduce yourself? Well, I asked initially if it wouldn't be an imposition to talk to him, and then I introduced myself. and. We what was hands. his response when you asked if that would be an imposition? A rule. He came out of his seat in sort of a half crouch and extended his hand and we shook hands and, and I thanked him. Okay. Did you sit down in the aisle seat? Yes, I did. I sat next to him. And <clears throat> did a conversation ensue? Yes, sir, it did. Without telling us what was said, did you at some point make a request to Mr. Simpson? Yes, I did. And what was that request? I asked if he would sign my logbook. And did he, in fact, do so? Yes, sir, he did. <clears throat> do you uh, keep your logbook under fairly tight control? Yes, I do. Is that something you regard as a personal value? It is my own personal record of my flight time and notes about uh, types of approaches and the people I fly with and so forth. So, yes, it is important to me. Okay. At my request, did you make a photostat of a certain page of your logbook relevant yes. to that evening's flight? Yes, sir, I do. Do you have it with you? Yes, I do. May I approach you on it? You may. 1242 to the witness and ask you if there are any markings on that page which you personally observed made by Mr. O.J. Simpson, who's sitting at the defense table. Yes. Would you just point them out on the page? His signature and a piece to you comment underneath. And what is the date of the logbook page that I'm holding? It's 12 June of 94, but 
it also has 14 June on there as well. Okay. And I see an MD-80-668 flight number, um, LAX to ORD. What does ORD stand for? Chicago O'Hare Airport. Is that where you went that night? Yes, sir. Okay. Is that the <coughs> signature that was uh, inscribed that night by Mr. Simpson in your presence? Yes, sir, it is. And the word peace to you, is that in his handwriting? Yes, it is. All right. Now, Captain, <coughs> you said that you have seen Mr. Simpson from time to time through the media. Could yes. you compare the demeanor you observed that night in your conversation with Mr. Simpson, the way he acted, the way he reacted to you, to the way you've seen him in other circumstances? It was the same. All right. Did he appear to be relaxed? Yes, he did. Did he appear to uh, respond to your questions in an alert fashion? Yes, he did. All right. Did you see anything at all unusual about him that night? No, sir. When you went back to the cockpit, without going into anything that was said, did you have a conversation with Mr. Simpson? about Mr. Simpson with your co-pilot or a remark? Yes, sir. Okay. That's all. <clears throat> when you were seated next to Mr. Simpson uh, that night, Captain, and he was writing in your book, did you see both of his hands? Yes. Did you see any bandages or injuries that caught your attention? No, sir, I didn't register on that at all. Was there anything unusual about the hands you saw that night or about Mr. Simpson's appearance otherwise? My only observation is that he has a much larger hand than I would have expected, but nothing as far as cuts or anything. Thank you. Get with it. And when you first approached Mr. Simpson, you spoke to him, right? Yes, I did. And you extended your hand to him? I believe it was mutual, because he came out of his seat in sort of a half crouch as, as I had excused myself and extended his hand and I extended mine. And when you say that he came out of his seat in a half crouch, do you, are, are you indicating to us that he sort of raised up with his knees bent? Yes, he did. Did he groan in pain when he uh, did that? No, sir, he didn't. And both you and the defendant extended your hands, is that right? Yes, it is. And you shook his hand? Yes, I did. And you used your right hand to shake his hand? Yes, I did. And he gave you his right hand? Yes. And you gave each other a shake? Yes. And that was a firm handshake, wasn't it? It was a firm, warm handshake, yes. Okay. Cut, 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 cut. Now, you had a chance to see Mr. Simpson when he first came off of the airplane? Yes. You had a chance to see him for the time while you waited for the bags to come? Yes. About how much time did it take for the bags to come, did you say? Approximately 10 minutes. You had a chance to see Mr. Simpson while you and he were inside your car traveling to his hotel? Yes. Did you have a chance to see Mr. Simpson as he interacted with the guests at the hotel? Yes, I did. During the entire time that you interacted with Mr. Simpson that morning, did you notice anything unusual about his hands? No, I did not. Did you notice any, any cuts on the middle finger of his left hand? No. I want to show you a photograph that is People's Exhibit 123, and you can look on the monitor to your <clears> right. <throat> Looking at the picture that is Exhibit 123 shown on the monitor there, do you see what appears to be some sort of mark on Mr. Simpson's finger? Yes. During the time that you saw Mr. Simpson when he came off of the airplane at baggage claim and in the car and in the hotel, did you have occasion to see such a mark on his finger? No. Now, there were several occasions when you were with Mr. Simpson as he was interacting with others. Yes. He would sign autographs. Yes. He would sign autographs. Would he sign autographs by holding something in his hand? Well, he would have to hold a piece of paper in his hand, obviously, to write it. So there'd be the opportunity for you to watch the, the, the act of his signing the autographs? Yes. Was there ever an occasion when you consciously averted your eyes from watching his hands as he was signing autographs? Uh, I was watching a lot of things. Okay. You didn't ignore his hands, did you? No, I did not. But there was nothing about his hands that drew any attention to you? Well, objection, that's leading. Can we phrase the question? Sure. Was there anything about his hands that drew your attention? Uh, just the fact that they're big. They're, yeah. You did notice that, that he has pretty large hands? Yes. You watched him shaking hands? Yes. You watched him signing? Yes. You saw no cuts? I saw no Objection cuts. Leading. 
At some time in the morning, did you see uh, Mr. O.J. Simpson there? Yes, I did. Where was he when you first saw him? Sitting outside on a bench. What time was it? Approximately about 8.45 to 8.50, somewhere in there. Would you describe for the ladies and gentlemen of the jury how he appeared? When I drove up, I saw Mr. Simpson sitting out there. I was surprised, one, because I thought he was asleep. Um, he was obviously distraught. Once I pulled up, his hands were in his, put his hands in his face, like there was something wrong. Um, I walked out, got out of the car first, went up, introduced myself. I had met Mr. Simpson two times prior and um, told him I was from the Hertz Corporation, asked if he remembered me, and at that point, um, he stated he needed to get to the airport. Did you take him to the airport? Yes, I did. On the way to the airport, would you describe Mr. Simpson's demeanor? Very much the same, very upset. What was his tone of voice in the car? Upset. Did you have an occasion to uh, observe anything unusual about uh, Mr. Simpson's hands? Yes. And what did you observe? That it was cut and bleeding. Which hand did you observe that on? Do you recall? Yes. Which the hand left. was that? Did you notice any type of uh, bandage on that hand? Yes. What type of bandage did you notice? It was a regular, you know, uh, type of bandaid. I'm not sure. And would you describe to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury the hand, the bandage, and the blood that you observed? When I, Mr. Simpson was sitting against the, the, the wall, it was very sunny. I could actually see into the bandage because it was loose and it was very bloody. I could see the entire gauze area covered in blood. How sure are you that on June the 13th, on the way to the airport that you saw our client, Mr. Simpson, in your vehicle and that he had a finger that was bandaged and that blood was coming through. Objection is compound and it's leading. Oh, well, you can answer the question. The way the question was stated, it wasn't in my vehicle when he was outside. I saw it and there's no doubt in my mind that I saw it outside the O'Hare Plaza. Cut, 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 cut. For more, visit ojsimpson.co.